It's me, Jessica. I'm in here. Okay, I should be okay. I forget that every time I reboot my computer, my uh, audio interface shuts off. <laughs> so I had to turn that back on so you guys could hear me. How do I sound? Am I too loud? Am I too... Am I good? Can, I, can you all hear me? I do not know what was going on. <coughs> Excuse me. My computer was being a, a bag of shit. And I'm already starting to drop frames again. Hi, I'm already starting to get shitty connectivity and stuff. It's me, Jessica. I'm in here. What is happening with my computer today? I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. But, uh, okay, it looks like it's, I mean, knock on wood. Okay, I was going to say knock on wood. It, it looks like it's stabilized, and then the, the kill bits per second number dr dr dumped again. Is it is it okay? Does everything look okay? I am so confused of why it's being so shitty. Hold on. Is it our is it our Wi-Fi or something? I am so confused. I'm run a I'm running a speed test just to make sure. I have no idea what's what's happening with this. My, the, the kilobits per second or whatever, the, the amount that it's sending out to, to Twitch, that in the bottom of my OBS keeps dumping down and going red. And my frames keep, I keep dropping frames. Oh yeah, our internet is garbage right now. My ping is 2,145. It should it shouldn't even be three digits. What the fuck is going on? I really don't know what's happening with my computer right now. It's eight minutes before this fucking direct. I might not, I might have to go offline and just watch it by myself and not stream it. It's me, Jessica. I'm in here. I, I, this is very rare for me to have issues like this. Speed. 
I tried to do speed test on the app with the, my router app, and the, it said speed test failed. <sighs> All right, I don't. Oh, thanks for the thanks for the follow, Stephachu. This is very frustrating. It just keeps dumping. I don't know what like my ping is garbage. I'm hold on one second. I'm gonna try something. All right, I don't know how else is going to work out. I I unplugged and plugged back in the X point that's behind me. It's not the main router. But I got much better ping and a much better um, speed. So I am hoping that is all I need to do. Um... But just let me know in the chat if things start to get um, like janky and stuff. Cause <sighs> yeah, <laughs> thanks everyone for joining. Hello. <laughs> Ugh. All right. Hopefully it stays this way. Um, and then we could just watch the direct and not have to worry about it. Direct starts in uh, about three minutes. I should have known it was an like, internet connection issue because the entire times that it was like dropping frames and like give throwing all these errors and stuff, in the bottom right corner of OBS, it shows the frames per second and like the CPU usage. The CPU was like 6% and the frames stayed at 60 out of 60. So like my computer, well, there was probably a, a few moments when I was trying to load some stuff where the encoder got overloaded. But, um, <laughs> thanks for us. <laughs> for us, you're gorgeous. Um, there's probably a few moments where the encoder did get overloaded then, but the rest of the times it was that connectivity speed, the kilobits per second that kept dumping and turn it going red and I just speed tested my phone and the the ping was 2145 and I was shocked that was so high that was the highest I've ever seen a ping in my entire life 
All right. Monica wants the joke, joke of the day for today. <clears throat> when potatoes have kids, what are they called? Tater tots. <laughs> Pretty good joke. I'm really excited about this this direct. <laughs> so I'm so annoyed by all the other stuff that's been that was just happening, but um, you know, it is what it is for that. But um, I mean, there's the the potential for today's direct to be really good is is there like they they need it <laughs> to be really good and if it's 40 minutes of luigi's mansion 2 hd then it's gonna be a mess it's that's not gonna be good for nintendo for this year because that game comes out this week or next week or something <laughs> so it's like I don't know. I'm supposed to be talking about the games for the rest of the year. So there, this may be the last direct of the year. So, you know, you know how it goes. I was looking at something. Sorry, I was looking at something in my OBS, and I was like, "What the hell is this saying to me?" Um, the drops frame percentage is going down slowly, so I'm guessing that's a good thing. That means everything is evened out. Man, what I need to do? All oh, the direct. Have you started direct? Oh, it started. Hold on, everybody. Let's go. Game. This is the first thing they announced at this Nintendo Direct is a new game. John Evo has eaten one trip. Very first minute of his direct. This looks cool. I was so tempted to read the text on the speech bubble that has to Hard to hear. Let me turn down this. All my stuff is all over the place right now. Can everyone still hear the, the other audio? I can't believe we're getting a new Mario and Luigi game. November. Damn, that's awesome. Mario and Luigi was a great series. Hello, everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. Mario and Luigi Brothership. 
Mario and Luigi's such a cool game. Let's go closer to the that unfolds across mysterious islands, as well as evolved bros moves with Mario and Luigi. Okay. I was just saying before, John Ebo has to eat that one chip. The very first game they show is a new Bring game. Bring the championships home or on the go. That's awesome. The thrill of the Nintendo World Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch system. Take on over 100. I wanted to go into the Discord from across for communication error and, and say something, but I don't want my friend to try to battles. <laughs> Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. Then give it your best shot and aim for the top of the online leaderboards. You can also try more difficult legend challenges. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Stuck on a legend challenge? Check out classified information for handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Put your skills to the test in survival mode where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, half of the players will be eliminated. You've only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? Nintendo World Championships NES Edition launches on Nintendo Switch July 18th. Pre-orders for the digital version are available now on Nintendo eShop. A deluxe set containing a physical version of the game and other bonus items is also available for pre-order. The final battle of fairy tale is about to begin. Ikuto, happy! Aisa! Relive the climactic Alvarez Empire arc from the hit anime fairy tale in this action RPG. I've never seen Set fairy in the tale. Last I don't know. Kingdom of Fiore. And the Natsu prepares to finish their fight. Yeah, like deluxe yeah, deluxe the deluxe physical copy is always good. And unleash powerful attacks that fuse different kinds of magic based on who's in your party. Work together with your teammates to take down powerful enemies. Fairy Tale 2 launches on Nintendo Switch this winter. Embark on a multi-dimensional journey. From Final Fantasy series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi and composer Nobuo Uematsu comes the turn-based RPG Fantasia, Fantasia. Neo Dimension. The world is slowly being robbed of its civilization. I don't know anything about fairy tale. To restore his memories, Leo must confront an evil entity threatening all mankind. It's me! Hey Simba, welcome in. I've been here. Skills are the ticket to winning battles. Adjust a skill's trajectory to target multiple enemies at once. That's kind of neat. This game. You can also send enemies you've encountered <laughs> to a cool. separate dimension and fight them later. Turbis will like with some strategy and how you like the you, more enemies you set there things are, up. The more that's you cool. can wipe out in one shot. I like that a lot. I think that's Break interesting. Them go. Now. Let us save the world together. Oh yeah, definitely. Old school Final Fantasy. A little bit of a twist in the battle. I like Fantasian that. Fantasian Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Damn. Another sport is coming to Spoko Square. Spoko. That's well. Basketball <clears throat> is being added as a free update to the Nintendo Switch sports game. Dribble, pass, and shoot in two-on-two -two matches using motion controls. Try out three-point challenge solo and score as many yeah, people were saying as that there was probably going to be a, a sw another sw sw switch sports. Four players can also sport compete in five because there was a whole battle. section on like the map that just didn't have anything in it. Besides local play, you can team up with players worldwide <laughs> in two-on-two -two online I think these kinds of games are cool. I like these. Yeah, I agree. The sound, this the audio for work Nintendo is, Switch is Sports good. Dunks its way onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Mysterious.
<laughs> what exactly? What is this? Oh, okay. Yep, all right. Platforming. Super Meat Boy in the Blind Forest. <laughs> Yeah, that looks like a Metroidvania maybe. Cartoon into that, obviously. Leap into a new update for Disney Illusion Island. Monoth's greatest detective is solving a mystery, and only Mickey and friends can help. In the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monoth. Uncover hints and evidence scattered throughout the world. Then use the dashboard to crack each case. What big secret lies at the end? Start sleuthing because this free update launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Nice. Island adventures await. Customize your character. Then befriend Hello Kitty, Karomi, and other familiar faces in this open world adventure. Team up with your new pals to solve mysteries and restore Friendship Island when Hello Kitty Island Adventure launches as a timed console exclusive on yeah. the Nintendo Switch system I knew that next Simba. year. Yeah, it may, kinda yeah. Let's get Looney in this wacky sports game. <laughs> Looney Tunes Sports Bunny, on like the Duck, Sega Genesis or like Super Nintendo or whatever was, was really fun. I remember that for a long time arcade ago. Style sports. Unleash the full power of Acme across iconic levels in up to four player local co op. <laughs> but watch out for falling anvils. Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports crashes onto Nintendo Switch this fall. What's up, Doug? That's all, folks. Let's see if you can be a big game on. Emergency meeting. New crewmate and imposter roles are being added to Among Us. Emergency meeting gets still others around here. When yeah. eliminated as a noisemaker. Plant tracking devices well, on that others. Other as space a jam movie with or turn invisible LeBron or whatever, while taking right? out players as a phantom. So I'm sure they're Suss trying to capitalize on that. Free update probably. for Among Us sneaks onto Nintendo Switch later today. A monster army is at your command. Little foxes. This is Felicidad, a realm of monsters. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital role in the this land's made civilization. Up Ten of Farmagia must rise up against the oppressive Magus to stop his vicious <clears throat> reign of the underworld. Raise monsters and lead them into the fight against the Magus's army. Plant seeds, then cultivate, and harvest them to make your buddies come to life. Man. They can then be trained what for battle. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Give commands to your monsters. This is and certainly a video game of all time. In action -packed combat. Battle Court. I'd play Battle Court if that was a game. Merge all of the battle buddies in your party to call forth a giant fusion summon and wreak havoc on your foes. This is like Pikmin. Harvest Moon, Join the rebellion to stop the Magus uh, in Monster Farm Hunter Magia, stories. On Nintendo Switch, <laughs> like, November 1st. All these things like mashed together into one thing. Oh, Donkey Kong game? Donkey Kong Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch in HD. Okay, it's a the villainous or Tiki whatever, Tack tribe has hypnotized cool, the local wildlife and stolen Donkey Kong's <laughs> precious banana hoard. <laughs> Obstacles in the way? Just armor. stomp them. Pound them. And roll on Do you on have to through. use the motion controls like you did on the Each Wii, though? I don't know about with that. Hijinks, but they're no match for these top bananas. From manic mine carts. To high-flying rocket barrels. It makes me want to play Donkey Kong Country like the and original game for Super ride Nintendo. On Rambi. There are plenty of transportation methods available. <laughs> Pass a Joy-Con controller to a buddy for two-player local co-op. This game is bananas. 
80 appealing levels are in store, <laughs> including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. Donkey Kong so like Country the definitive Returns version. HD swings onto the Nintendo Switch levels, system yeah. January 16th. One of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's jungle escapades returns in HD. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. Next, please take a look at this. <laughs> the time is nigh. <laughs> Was Dragon Quest? Journey with allies to face the arch fiend. I have actually never played on a Dragon epic Quest. Adventure. Memorable encounters. <laughs> Perplexing challenges. I've never played a Dragon Quest game, but they do seem cool. And formidable monsters await. An iconic RPG remade in HD 2D. Yeah, so far. Forge your own path. Seems to be the thing this year, though. A lot of remakes and remasters this year. The legacy begins. Dragon Quest Three HD 2D Remake. Coming to Nintendo Switch <laughs> yeah. November 14th. They're still gonna get their money from the people, so they're gonna continue to do it. Mario and Luigi game right at the beginning was cool. I'll definitely be, be buying that one. Oh, they're doing all three. It's weird that the, they're doing the third one and then the first two. Hello, everyone. 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 Hello, ようやく発売日を発表できて僕も嬉しく思います。そして今日サプライズで発表したドローンクエスト1&2も1D2Dで読み上げることが決定しました。時系列としてはスリーが物語の始めとなっており、スリー1、2の順番でプレイしてもら
Summon your courage. Hello. Play games aren't a cash grab. <laughs> Filled with goofy ghosts. Yeah, that's yeah. Tricky traps and other supernatural shenanigans. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD launches on Nintendo Switch June 27th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Meet the quirky little Dempa Man. Find him, catch him, and lead him on a joyful RPG adventure. Explore dungeons and battle monsters. Customize all sorts of outfits. Decorate your island however you'd like. And more. Plus, up to four players in local co-op can <laughs> team up to catch special Dempa Man. The new Dempa Man is free to play and launches as a timed Am exclusive a on Nintendo Man? Switch, July 22nd. What's happening? Strategize away in this tower defense installment of the Metal Slug series. Take control of your forces and pulverize enemy strongholds. Choose from over 300 units with different abilities. And yeah. build out your decks to win tactical tussles. You can also slug it out with other players in online battles. Metal <laughs> Slug Attack Reloaded storms onto the Nintendo even is system this? later today. Nintendo Direct is happening here. Embark on an expedition of the damned in this eagerly awaited sequel to the gothic roguelike RPG. Board your stagecoach and set off across a decaying landscape to prevent an apocalypse. Fight off nightmarish fiends in turn-based combat. And upgrade your abilities after each deadly run. Darkest Dungeon 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 15th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. More classic titles are on the way. Okay. Hmm. Play Link's classic 16-bit adventure and team up online to explore randomized dungeons in The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the we Past Four play it Swords. online with three other people? That's cool. <gasps> Nice. Experience the remake of Samus's first adventure. Right, yeah, at least Metroid one Metroid Zero thing announced this day. <laughs> Zero Mission sweet. Plus, coming to the new Nintendo 64 Nintendo Switch Online Mature 17 Plus collection of games. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. I was Great, thought it was gonna be like Hentai 64. To stop the campaigner's nefarious schemes in Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. And. I guess. Simba, I don't know. Oh, cool. Infiltrate a corporation to end their alien Perfect Dark is 17 again. plus? Perfect Dark. Now with online multiplayer. All four games will be available for Nintendo Switch Conquer, Online right? Plus Expansion Pack members later today. So these are cool games. I'm, that's, that's, those are fine to add, whatever. But like, Set yeah. sail to right. save the day. Con Conquer's Bad Fur Day is the game. This is Verona, That's 17 plus a young those. woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. Four Swords will be cool online. We should get a bunch of people together to play it because I've never played it. Her on a journey to save her friend Ash. I yeah, I've never played it. So that would be we should get we should get some people together in this new installment and, and play four with four different people. I'd be totally down to do that. Take on tactical turn-based yeah, battles. Yeah, it's 20 years too early for online. Where you online combine play. the phantoms you befriended with objects in various ways. I mean, that's a perfect game for for to, to edit online play. You're right. Objects to maneuver them. That's so cool. Combine with a cannon to attack a large area. A fan to blow People enemies around. People love their tactics RPGs. I don't know. Or I don't like them, but Marona herself for people who love them love abilities that can turn the tide of battle. Phantom Brave, the Lost Hero, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. This one's gonna take you for a ride. Street Fighter. Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto oh. Nintendo Switch as one collection. Clash in X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Duke it out in Marvel vs. Capcom 2 New Age of Heroes. 
take down the Kingpin in the beat em up side scroller, the Punisher, and more. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. So there's a lot of remasters, remakes, and game and older game compilations or in this play thing today. In the Punisher. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork That's cool beat them up really or listen cool. to music from each game. The, a few have come out recently. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting um, Collection Arcade At the Classics Xbox event, they announced the uh, Power year. Rangers beat em up. That, that's like the same style as like Turtles in Time. Mario Party. This is a new Mario the Party? This game in the Mario Party series takes place on an enormous island resort. Get Monica, ready to are you, jump you're watching. New Mario, Mario Party. Mario Party mini games yet in. Super Mario Party Jamboree. First, let's see some of the. We new love Mario Party around here. To collect the most stars. Is this a Take new game? Because Super Mario Party was its own game. In Rainbow Galleria. Use in-game coins to get a star at half price when they're on flash sale. But act fast. Ride around and stay on track in Rollum Raceway. With the new Turbo Dice item. You can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky Damn. roll. Here on Goomba Lagoon, the ebb and flow Goomba of the Lagoon. tide can change Lagoomba. your path. And things really get mixed Should've up called when Lagoomba. the volcano blows its top. It's a missed opportunity. Along with five new yeah, I'll, I'll boards, get this for your minds. two boards we'll from play previous the fuck Mario out of Party this. games make their return. Some mini games are action packed challenges. Oh, the Wii Speed Yeah, trials, I have. A battle I played wins. like the first three Mario and Parties and then like none of the and other ones. I played the one on Wii. Shaking, that had like the soda shaking mini game. Controllers. <laughs> With over 110 mini games, there's a wide variety to enjoy. Also, up to 20 players can go head to head online in the Coupathlon mode. Compete against your rivals and aim for first place. Try your best to come out on top. Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway. This looks when the like a Super lot of fun. Mario Party Jamboree game October. launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. We're, we're getting this, Mons. We're definitely getting this. That was the latest installment in the Mario Party series. Super Mario Party Jamboree with new boards, mini Jenny games, was be so pissed. <laughs> 20 player online gameplay and more. Get ready for the biggest Mario Party in Too series long. history. And now, please take a look at this. This is a new 2D Zelda? Oh, yeah. Is this the rumored 2D Zelda game where you play as Zelda? I think that's this. They should call it Link. Zelda. This is like the same style as Link's Awakenings remake. The Legend of Link. Echoes of Wisdom. Yo, cool, right? That's cool. Hello, everyone. Hey, Onuma. I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you just saw was the latest installment, The yeah, Legend I agree, of Zelda, Zelda. Echoes oh, of Wisdom. On that one. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might it's be thinking it's quite a bit Zelda Jessica. Jessica. <laughs> I'm in here. Is we wanted to create a new gameplay style. A new 2D Zelda game where you play as Zelda, Zelda in some way. 
To explain more, please take a look at this video. New Link game. Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people. So like, this is a new Link. game. This isn't like they try now to like alone, remake it. Zelda an other game. Try receives a mysterious staff called the Trirod and sets off on a journey across high to save her kingdom. Nintendo, come on. By waving the Trirod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. Once you learn an Echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. That's kind of cool, actually. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create Echoes of tables to get a leg up. Just like that. You can create wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Interesting. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. This is a lot less like Even a Zelda battles game, though. will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not we all, don't though. A, a you regular could attack, also though. create echoes of monsters. After doing so, they'll fight by your side. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. I don't like the fact that Wisdom Zelda doesn't have like a weapon you can hit something with. This look fun, In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. How was that? I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. Kind of like that. That's neat. The Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom launches this year. September 26th. A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend nah. of Zelda series will also be available at launch. Don't make new Switch. We hope Switch you're looking forward to playing as Zelda Come on. in this new adventure. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. Thank you, Mr. Aonuma. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. Let's see a few more headlines. Wind Waker, cowards. Let loose and oh, come party on. on. These have their own style, you know? I gotta turn off that streaming off thing. Adventure is on the horizon. It's the world of Horizon in Lego form. Oh yeah, we know about Join this Join Machine Hunter Aloy on a quest to save the world from an ancient evil. Journey through lush landscapes. It, oh my God, did it? Dive deep into <laughs> the cauldrons. It? Climb up onto tall necks and traverse other locations. I was paying attention. I was doing something to about while I was. But be careful. Swarms of machines are lurking everywhere. Use an array of gadgets like blast boots and gravity bombs to hunt them down. From the nimble watchers to mighty sawtooths. 
you might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. As you progress, you can help Aloy rebuild her home and customize yeah, her appearance with that. lots of outfits. I get it if you could like buy individual songs, but like alone, a monthly charge. Up familiar faces from the world of absurd. Horizon in two players. Unless you're, pay unless you're playing that every day, like Lego hours Horizon a day, that's totally not worth launches that. on Nintendo Switch this holiday. A stray's journey. Oh, begins. stray on Switch. Probably gonna look like gonna garbage on Switch though. Experience a decaying cyber city through the eyes of a cat separated from their family and friends. Explore alongside a drone known as B12 to find your way home. Carefully climb to the highest heights, create new paths for yourself, and stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. Think like a cat to make your way through the city. Careful though, not everyone is excited to have you slinking around, including hordes of hostile creatures ready to swarm. Keep exploring to venture into more areas of this unfamiliar world and make your way back to safety. Stray finds its way onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. A lot of games are like, they're being announced are coming out way later in the year. Welcome home, Hobbit. Oh yeah, is it Lord of the Rings farming sim? If you've ever wanted to live like a Hobbit Tales from of the, the Shire, Lord of the Rings, a Lord of the now, Rings game. a leisurely existence nestled away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Customize your appearance decorate your home and settle into life in the Shire as a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater you'll befriend your neighbors work together to solve problems and even share a meal or three explore garden <laughs> fish forage and cook the best way to build a hobbit community is by hosting a dinner party with your homemade dishes plus you can trade with your neighbors for unique decorations or special ingredients for even tastier meals Friendly hobbits and familiar faces await your arrival when no? Tales of the Shire launches on the Nintendo Switch system this holiday. Lord of the Rings farming sim? Investigate, interrogate, checkmate. Objection! Two Ace Attorney spin off games, including a sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan, are coming to Nintendo Switch as one collection. As the prolific prosecutor Miles Edgeworth take the case out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes, gather information by interviewing people and inspecting evidence, then use the power of logic to solve challenging cases. <laughs> Enjoy all new the power of your noodles from the original series character designer, or swap to the original sprites for a more classic look. Take a break from your investigation to explore the gallery. Yeah, she's at least one You'll time you have to say art, music, including he lives in Hobbit and, and then you like have to shut, shut the door and past peace. and present collide as you uncover the truth at any cost. Ace Attorney Investigations Collection launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Oh, we got three minutes left of this direct. The Nazg will eat your crops? Oh, Jesus Christ, what's happening? What in the absolute shit? After a devastating attack by unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. What? While Takumi manages to get out of harm's way, he's then forced to <laughs> enroll at the Last Defense Academy, along with 15 other students. Of course. 
Of course. <laughs> what is this? Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. What is this? The academy shrouded in secrecy. And the unavoidable loss of allies. Can Takumi survive this 100-day trial, colored by extreme and despair, and return to his normal life? The creators of Danganronpa present the 100 Line Last Defense Academy, launching sure. on Nintendo Switch early next year. That's, yeah. Embark on a saga spanning generations. <laughs> A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Nintendo Holy Switch. Shit. All right. Rule and expand the Empire of Varen. The last thing they talk about best be Metroid Prime 4. If it's not, then it's going to be to a sad year. In combat, use returning Saga features like glimmers to learn skills. And formations to enhance abilities. Turn based battles have also evolved into timeline battles, where the action order is key. Innovative features like United Attack can also help with strategy. How will you expand your empire? And in which order will you fight the seven heroes? Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. Safeguard your empire's future and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. Romancing Saga 2 Revenge of the Seven launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. There we go. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Has to be it. This has to be Metroid Prime 4. Is this gameplay for it? Holy shit! That looks pretty good. I wonder what the, wonder what the fuck's happening though. Oh my god, I am fucking amped, dude. Holy shit. I was convinced this is not real, that this is never gonna happen. I didn't expect gameplay either. I expected a teaser trailer like Elder Scrolls 6. This is full on gameplay. This looks like it's gonna be done. It has been cooking for years though. I'm guessing it takes place right after the third one. Yes! Beyond. Holy shit. This is gorgeous. Oh. Really gonna do that to me, Nintendo. Ugh. That was a first look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. After a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. Release is planned for 2025, so please wait a little bit longer. We hope you're looking forward to Samus Aran's new adventure. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Damn.
I think that really is it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Shit. Uh, all the feelings? Listen, there was a couple things that I really wanted them to, to like announce. I really wanted... And I, I shouldn't expect it really ever, but there was all these rumors for a while that they were going to um, port over the the Wii U versions of um, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. I mean, it's really dark in this room. I don't have the light on in the background. That's probably why. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of uh, rumors that they were going to port over uh, Twilight Princess and w Wind Waker from the Wii U, the HD versions. Um, that, of course, has been rumored for years now. <laughs> and every single Nintendo Direct, people are like, it's going to happen. It's, I don't think it's ever going to happen. Um, I didn't expect a new 2D Zelda game. I didn't expect that one to be the one that it's, you play a Zelda. That was cool. It, that was rumored. I did hear about that. I wasn't sure that that was ever going to actually be a thing, though. Um, what else was cool? The Mario and Luigi game, the very first game that they that they had, was that was really cool. The original series that was back on what was that on Game Boy Advance? I think it was like Superstar Saga, I believe. Hold on. Uh, Saga, uh, yeah, Game Boy Advance. So that was on Game Boy Advance, and then the other ones were on like DS and 3DS, I think. But th that was a really cool series because you can you switch, you can have uh, it's me, hey, Amber Crowell's gone, Jessica. Um, I'm in here. You can switch between Mario and Luigi, and like. Mario can do certain things, Luigi can do certain things, and so like you use that to like solve puzzles and stuff, which is really cool. Which I, I'm, it looks like you can be able to do more of that in this new one. Uh, I'm just, you know, my thing is, uh, I wanted, I really wanted Metroid Prime Four sooner. Uh, the fact that we got like Shoes was saying, didn't expect gameplay. Uh, the fact that we got gameplay footage that looked that good like that wasn't like a janky like alpha build is really impressive and i'm 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 excited for that that looks so cool i gotta uh, the other thing is the other thing that people were spreading rumors about a lot was the um sorry my ring freaking doorbell keeps going off um them remastering metroid prime 2 and 3 for Metro Prime 4's release so that people could play all of them because right now they're stuck on their consoles. You can't really play them anywhere else. Well, you can play... You can play two on the GameCube and they had a, tr a triple pack on the Wii, I think. You can get all three of them. But the third one, I think, is just stuck on Wii. I don't think you can play it anywhere else. Because it was heavy into the motion controls. You, everything everything used motion controls in the third one. I'm hoping they don't really do that in this one. And they stick to like how the first one was. Or how the first two were. But man. That was, really, that was a cool trailer. That looked really good. And Mario Party. We love Mario Party. We're Mario Party house. Mario Party is awesome. New Mario Party? Hell yeah. 100 something new mini games. And it was the. It was in the Super Mario Party thing. So it was like. Because there was Mario. For on the Switch, there was Super Mario Party and Mario Party Superstars. Mario Party Superstars was like all the old stuff. So it was like all the classic stuff. Super Mario Party used the Joy Cons in like special ways. Where like you'd ride a bike and you have to like do this with the Joy Con um stuff like that so like it's it's gonna be a lot of games like that and I, that's what i'm shaking my webcam and that's the kind of stuff i like that's those are the mini games i like so it's gonna be a lot of that 
they're, so they they still have plenty of the year to do another direct, and usually they'll do a direct in September, so they could easily do um easily do a direct in September and shadow drop it because remember the the, the first one the re remaster of the first one they like sh fucking shadow dropped it. They were like, yeah, you can get it in physical. It's gonna be out in a couple of weeks, but like you could download it today. <laughs> And like no one knew it was a thing. People were like, it was like, well, people, I guess they knew it kind of, they, it was a rumor, but it was, you know, they just, they, they shot it out of nowhere and they were like, Metroid Prime, you can download it today. So they made, they could easily do that in September. They could easily do, you know, what they could do, they could do all those things that we thought we've, we've heard about coming out that like all these, you know, influencer stuff have been talking about, all the rumors. They could easily just shadow drop all that shit in September. Just dump it on on, on dump everything on us. I think they just probably don't want to have to try to compete with all the other games right now. They probably want to like let everything else simmer down first, maybe. Or none of those things will ever be a thing. <laughs> they couldn't think like, none of those things could be real. It just they make sense. I think I think all like the insiders that like talk about Metroid Prime two and three remakes and. When Zelda Wind Waker and Twilight Princess remakes, I think they, they talk about that a lot because it makes sense for Nintendo to do. Because those games are... Get out of here. Uh, those those games uh, are kind of stuck. Like, you can't really play them in other places. Man. Some wild stuff, man. Um, oh, um, so speaking of all this <laughs> Nintendo Direct stuff, so tomorrow, tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be on the Drip NG podcast talking about the stuff they had at the Direct. So I'm going to have to make some notes so that I, like, don't come across as, like, a, an idiot or I'm just, like, making stuff up, like, talking on my ass. <laughs> I'm going to write some notes. Without taking a wee. <laughs> Twilight, <coughs> excuse me. I beat Twilight Princess myself a few times, but Twilight Princess is, is it's really good. I think more people should have the opportunity to play it. I think, um, I think that same thing with Wind Waker. Wind Waker was really good. And I'm sure like my memory of Wind Waker probably has, it's probably steeped in nostalgia I'll probably go back and play it, and the, there's going to be moments that are annoying. But I, re I do fondly remember, like, playing those those games. Why is my phone exploding? Hold on, everybody. Yeah, I'm, uh... I'm still looking to still looking for a job so i have all my like linkedin and stuff set as like open to work and whenever any contract it job opens up i get like seven different recruiters blasting my phone and sending me like shooting emails and texts and stuff at me they're like found this job i found this job it's perfect for you and it's like customer service i'm like it's not <laughs> That's not at all. One of them was a truck driver. Like. But. That's besides the conversation here. Um. <coughs> yeah, like, I think all those games, they deserve to be on the Switch. You know, they deserve to be on the eShop and people will be able to play them. I'd love to be able to play Wind Waker again, and I'm afraid that I'm going to have to... I'm afraid they're never going to release it. And I've been putting off, like, I, you know, I've considered emulating it. You know, that's a, a legal gray area. But the, the Wii U version plays on a Steam Deck, is all I'm going to say. I might have to do that. 
then I just, you know, if they do announce it, I just won't buy it. Because <laughs> you took too long. But yeah, I would have loved to see a new, uh, a new 2D Metroid. But I'm sure, like, it would, it probably would be really silly to have them compete with each other. Even if one released this year and then the other one releases early next year, you're still kind of competing with sales with, like, the hype would still be up there. But... <coughs> I don't think I was really all that excited about most of the stuff that was on there, to be honest. Other than those, like, three things. Um, four things? We have Mario and Luigi, Mario Party, Metroid Prime 4, obviously, and the, Zelda, the 2D Zelda game. There's a couple other things that looked cool, but I don't know if I'm going to play them. But for me, those were like those were like the four things that I was really into. Uh, what about you guys? What what uh, what things from this direct was everyone else excited about? I know, like I was saying, for me, it was the those four games. Uh, you know, JRPGs are very popular, um, and their Nintendo has in the past had, and at one point they were like the place for JRPGs, and then they weren't for a bit, and now they are again. But that's what my buddy Rob had the same complaint about: is that uh, <laughs> he was always disappointed at Nintendo Directs because those aren't the games for him. But it seemed like every Nintendo Direct was like ninety percent what he referred to as anime games or like games that have like an anime art style or like a, you know, they, they all have a, they, a lot of them have a similar art style. And so he'd be like, Oh, there are, it's like a bunch of anime games. And so he gets disappointed in that, but it's like tons of people like them. They're very popular. My thing was always the tactics games. There was that one year was it last year, the year before where like every event, like every showcase it was full of tactics rpgs and i just don't i just don't get it it was full of them like i get a few of them but like <laughs> there's so many of them i thought i just got a thing saying the ad break was finishing oh the ad break was starting <sighs> um I don't know. I'm uh, I'm not. I'm probably not gonna be streaming tonight because I streamed right now. But I don't know if I should play something. I should just uh, end it here and then just upload the vod. But <laughs> I mean, why? Eat? It's it kind of be pointless to watch it if they give away what's gonna be in it ahead of time, you know? I suppose. But yeah, I mean, they, they have to throw in some of the other stuff. So that's like, I, I guarantee you there's dozens of people who watched that. And the four games they weren't excited for were the four games that I was excited for. And that they were excited for, uh, what was that? One of the first ones that they announced it was like that it was a turn-based RPG but like you could curve your attacks whatever that one was called that one looked cool but like that's for some people that's their game like that's like for me like metroidvanias right if you like show me metroidvania i'm like i know i can tell immediately that's what it is i'm like that's my thing that's like one of the like the main kind of game i play some people that's their game so But I, you know, I, I, I tried to have open expectations, you know, open, an open mind for this direct. I had, uh, I did have high hopes though, that there was going to be a, a lot of other stuff. Cause it was like, this was Nintendo's time to really like 
show us the switch isn't dead yet. And they've, you know, Furukawa, Furukawa. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Um, you know, he did say that, uh, I think it was him that said that, talked about the switch successor for next year or for, you know, March or whatever, March-ish, but they didn't want to like discuss it. But I feel like he needed to You feel like the, 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 that they that they told us that the switch is dead. <laughs> is that what you mean, shoes? I feel like for all the games that said twenty twenty five, they're probably switch two games. They're just not allowed to tell us yet, because they like I was trying to say before, like they mentioned the. You think they showed us that it isn't? Um, yeah, I think any of the games that said 2025 are probably Switch 2 games. It's very possible they could be, like, cross-platform. Like, you know, when, when the Xbox One came out or the Xbox Series X came out and there was, like, a bunch of games, like, even, like, PS4 to PS5 and that kind of thing. Like, there was a bunch of games that were, like, in the middle. Like, I remember Assassin's Creed Black Flag being on, like, both. I'm being, like, a very different experience on either one. I'm sure it could be like that. But what would really grind my gears is if Metroid Prime 4 was only on Switch 2. Because for me specifically, I remember when I saw the Switch launch and I thought that's a cool concept. It's a tablet gaming thing with two controllers that come off and you could play wherever and you dock it and you play on your TV. It's genius. And I'm like, I haven't really, I had, at that point, I hadn't really owned a Nintendo console in a while. Like, I had the GameCube. I think Monica had a Wii. And, like, we played a little bit. But, like, it wasn't, I never had a Wii U. Like, I didn't, after the GameCube, I didn't really have anything from Nintendo. Like, I had the 3DS, but I barely played that at the time. So like I wasn't really into Nintendo, into Nintendo games and stuff. And then I was like, you know, I'd really love to play Zelda again. And they had the Switch comes out with Breath of the Wild and stuff. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll get a Switch. Maybe we'll think about it. And I said to myself, you know what? And there was the year the Switch came out. I was like, at, at E3 time, I was like, if they if they announce a Metroid game coming out on the Switch, uh, then I'm then I will get one. That was my thing. And they had the little teaser for Metroid Prime 4 at E3 2017, where they had the little 4 thing come up and it said Metroid Prime 4. So if Metroid Prime 4 releases only on Switch 2 and not on the Switch, I feel like that would be a real fucking shit thing to do. You know? Like, not that the time I've had with the Switch wasn't worth it. It was definitely worth it. The games I played on it, definitely worth it. I'm going to have to get vouchers, though. I'm going to do the vouchers again. So I can get uh, Paper Mario, a Thousand Year Door, and then that Mario and Luigi game. Or maybe I'll get two sets of vouchers because I want to get the Zelda game. And I want to get the <coughs> Mario Party game. Shit, I'm gonna have to get tons of vouchers. I'm about to spend like four hundred dollars on Switch games. <sighs> He's gotta buy two vouchers, and two vouchers is a hundred dollars. And the voucher covers one game. So if each of those games is sixty bucks, I can get them each for fifty. So that's what. So we got. Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, Mario and Luigi. We got Zelda. We have Metroid Prime 4. And we have. Oh no, I'm not even making the gesture. I turned that. Hold on, everybody. The application is not even open. There we go. I hate that every time I reboot, 
I have to turn off gesture controls on that thing. It's silly. I should have waited. I feel like it, in retrospect, I should have waited and not bought the Insta360 webcam. This looks really nice, but I bought... One of the reasons I bought this one was because the uh, Elgato Basecam Pro was out of stock. And I was like, I really like this one too. Because it has the gimbal and everything and I could do so much with it. But I find I'm not really doing a whole lot with that. <laughs> so, and it was the same price. And then like, like a couple days after I ordered this one, the Elgato one came back in stock. Too late now though. But, uh, yeah. Metroid Prime 4 exists. Metroid Prime 4 exists, everybody. I'm going to have to get... Yeah, it still looks really good. So what? Like there's five now, including, including P Paper Mario, and the four games I talked about that I won from this event. That's five games. We have to buy two vouchers every time you buy vouchers, so I'm gonna have to buy six games, and so that means I'm gonna have to spend three hundred dollars. But if I buy the if I buy gift cards, I can buy eShop gift cards at Costco. And it's ninety dollars for a hundred dollars worth of gift shop or eShop gift cards. So I could actually spend two hundred seventy dollars instead of three hundred dollars, which would be which would be nice. But yeah, it's insane. I'll try to find eShop gift cards to cheaper for a different way, maybe. But twenty twenty five is too far away. I don't want to have to go through another winter. I hate winter. I don't know what I should do now. Uh, I feel like because I went live now, I'm not going to go live later. So should I play something? Or should I just uh, leave my thoughts here? I don't even know what to play. Uh, I was playing Control. Not on stream, obviously. But like I was playing Control recently. And I don't know. Shoes, I think I think that's gonna be it. I think that's I think that's the goal for them. It's either a cross gen thing or it'll be Switch 2. And you know what I'm saying? While that trailer's playing, yeah, let's see if I can pull up hold on. Let's let's uh Well, with that off stage edge guard again. What is happening? I wasn't playing anything. Nintendo. So we're gonna we're gonna watch this again. Can everyone hear this? Yeah. We're watching this trailer again. So... This looks really good. And because this looks so good, and we're getting a 2025 launch, that's... That's what I'm thinking.
will say though, Metroid Prime, the first one, the remaster, looks really good. And we're watching this again, like. Still be on Switch? Like it's not Like if you see like if you watch like if you play like the, the first Metro Prime Remastered or thing, it looks really good. I mean it's the best looking game on the Switch, I could tell you that. So I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. I gotta go over to um Uh, I gotta go over to the, um, communication errors video on their, um, YouTube channel and, and post clown emojis because I said that Silk Song was going to be on this direct. <laughs> um, so Metroid Prime 4 exists, but Hollow Knight Silk Song? No. It's a fever dream. It does, it does not exist. It does not exist. All right, well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, this looks like is the friends we made along the way. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to uh, log off. I think we're going to end the stream there. And, um, and uh, I don't know, I, I might, maybe I'll still go live later. I don't know, but tomorrow at 8 p.m. I will be on the Drip and G podcast. I'll probably tweet about it, so. You'll really get the, the link for that. But that's on YouTube. It'll be live at 8 p.m. So you guys can join the live stream on YouTube. And you can chat. And I'll, I'll be able to see the chat and everything. And we'll be able to, uh, to, to hang out. And we'll be talking about the direct. So if you have any thoughts between now and then, write them down and get them ready. Because we like to, it likes, they like to be interactive with that. So uh, thanks, everyone, for joining. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. The, the, the director was pretty good. <laughs> the director was pretty good. Had four solid things for me, but you know, you know, can't have everything. Hope everyone has a great night. See you later. <laughs>